This is a quick introduction to Curvy 3D 4.0. Um, in the top left you have your tools. Creation, Curve, Sculpting, Painting. I'm going to select the Line tool. And you draw in the main viewport to draw a line. Uh, the orange line is, represents the curve. You can right click on it to select it. And then you can select the widget soft move tool to drag the curve around and reshape it. Right clicking off the object or pressing space to deselect it. Right click on the object to select it. Um, you can use the move tool, the rotate tool and the scale tool to change the overall shape of the object. Move that off to one side and make a lathe object. Create lathe. This one you can draw more than one curve to define the different sides of the object. So if we draw another curve, you can see that the, the object follows the shape of both curves. Again, with the right mouse button to select a curve, then we can use the widget move tool to shape those curves. And the lathe follows the shape of all of its curves. Holding down the right mouse button lets you select So right click to select, space to deselect. You can use the pan, orbit and zoom tools. There, you can select the tools in the, the top toolbar, or you can hold down alt and drag the left mouse button to rotate the view. You can use the middle mouse button to pan the view. Now I'll show you some sculpting tools using the push brush. Left mouse button pushes out, right mouse button pushes in. Then with the paint tool, we can paint on the surface of the object. This is painting on a, a texture map, the diffuse texture. I'll just put those out the way. We can press H on an object to hide it. And you can see in the, the groups panel, you can still select them by clicking on them. Uh, you can press the little eye to hide them as well. So with the sphere tool, you just drag a line and it'll create a sphere that size. If you drag on the groups panel, you'll organize the shapes into a hierarchy. So when you move the top sphere of the hierarchy, the child spheres move too. Just show you some of the other primitives we have in Curvy.
all of them you just drag out a line and it creates the shape for you. The slab creates a sort of sharp edge wedge object and the blob creates a soft edge object of the shape of a line. And when you're done, you can save from the file menu. Show you how to duplicate an object. From the object duplicates.